How's it going everyone and welcome back to another at home dumbbell workout. Today we have another fun but yet super spicy workout for you guys. That's a total of 16 minutes with 3 minutes of work followed by 1 minute of rest. Now before we dive into this workout, be sure to check the link down below in the description where I have a 6 minute warm up you can do to make sure your body is primed and ready to go for all this intense fitness we're about to get into in just a second. Now if you're new here, my name is Hudson and my goal is to help you become more functional and fit. So if you enjoy this video and want to see more just like it, hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Now, let's dive into those exercises and the structure of today's workout, and then we're getting right into it. All right, you guys, let's break down this workout. So today's workout is a 16 minute time frame, and in that 16 minutes, you're gonna do four rounds, three minutes on, followed by one minute off. So it'll be a total of 12 working minutes with small breaks in the middle of those minutes, but that break is gonna allow you to kind of catch your breath for a quick second before you get right into that next round. Now, how the round's gonna go is you're gonna do 10 hang clean and jerks on one side, followed by 10 front squats on one side. Then you're gonna do 10 head and clean jerks on the other side, followed by 10 front squats on that one side. And then the remaining time, you're doing max alternating VFs. So let's dive into those first dumbbell exercises. For a hang clean and jerk, or a hang clean and overhead, you're gonna pick up the dumbbell, and you're gonna start swinging the weight in between your hips. Now when I swing, the power's coming from my hips. It's not my arm doing a lot of the work like this. I want a hinge and then push my butt through so I get momentum in the dumbbell. From here, I'm gonna bring it to my shoulder, then I'm going to dip and then punch overhead. And from here, you have two options. You can unpress and then bring it back to the hips, or if you feel confident, you can go straight back to the hips, back to the shoulder, and then overhead. Once you do 10 of those, then you're gonna keep that weight on your shoulder and do 10 front squats from here. You have to focus on keeping that other side tight to make sure you're not just kind of falling down with the side the dumbbell's on. Once I've done 10 of those, and then bring it back, 10 hang clean jerks on the other side, followed by 10 front squats on that side. Once I've done my 10 and 10 and 10 and 10, the remaining time of those three minutes, I'm gonna do max alternating V up. So lying on the floor, I'm gonna have my hands over my head, my legs on the floor, I'm gonna come up, tap both hands on one foot, and then alternate. So to go one, two, three, and so on for the remainder of those three minutes. So if I take two minutes to get those dumbbell exercises done, I have one minute get as many of those as I can before I get a minute of rest, okay? And our score today is gonna to be the total amount of single leg uh, alternating V-ups you get in today's workout. So have a pen and paper somewhere nearby so we can make sure we keep track of those rounds every time we finish them. All right guys, and here we go. Get ready, starting in three, two, one, ten. 10. Hang clean to overhead, pop those hips, pop it overhead, back to the hips. Pop those hips both times on the swing and the press overhead. Straight into 10 squats. Keep that core really tight. Heels down the whole time. All right, 10 the other side. Pop the hips, pop them again. All right, 10 front squats. All right, took a minute and a half, so I have a minute and a half of alternating V ups. If it's hard to touch your toes, you can touch your shins. That's a little easier. Just focus on getting your torso off the floor. That's the biggest thing. We're at 16. We got about 50 more seconds. Oh man, core is already burning. Whew. 
30 more seconds. Oh. 15 more seconds. And rest. Oh man. Oh, I got 42 that first time through. So have your pen and paper nearby. Write how many reps you got. Now we have 45 more seconds to rest before we start back at those hand clean to overhead. So get ready for those. It's up to you when you get back to those alternating V ups if you want to keep the number going. So, for example, I did 42 if I wanted to do 43 or 44. Uh, whatever allows you to keep track the best. For me, I get workout brain really easy and forget what number I'm on and forget keeping track. So, writing down helps me out a lot. All right, guys, get ready. Going again in 15 seconds. Really use those hips. Save your arm. Arm for the second afterthought. And go. Make the lower half do most of the work. Keep it going. Try to go unbroken on those dumbbell exercises, and you can rest during the alternating V ups. Just a little past halfway. Then we go for smaller sets and smaller breaks. It's a really short rest, and just get a few reps in. About 30 more seconds. Oh. Three, two, one, rest. 31 that second time. I'm using a 35 pound dumbbell. It's not too bad for the dumbbell exercises. Those are definitely the easier part. Those alternating V-ups get really rough really quickly. So that's two rounds down. Guys, we got two more to go. Take deep breaths. 
Try to cool yourself back down a little bit. Going again, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. All right, three, two, one, and go. Again, use those legs. Match when you get tired, you start to be a little less dynamic, but it's all from the hips. Right to those squats. Try to go unbroken. We're halfway. Last time I did sets of six, and that really helped me out on the alternating B-ups. Six and really quick break. Find a number you can hit routinely and keep that rest short. Just below a minute. Two deep breaths and you're back to it. We got 30 seconds, two deep breaths. And a rest. Squeeze out a few more that time in comparison to my last round. Alright, we got one more round of this workout, you guys. Core is on fire right now. Tell yourself, because it's the last round, you're gonna go all out, give everything you got, okay? It's only three minutes of work, that's it. Twenty seconds. You're ready, ten seconds guys. And three, two, one, last round, guys. All you got right here.
Get this dumbbell done quick. Get to those V-ups, and then you get a little bit of rest. Ninety more seconds, guys. A couple deep breaths and right back to it. seconds. Thank you guys so much for joining me on that workout. I had a really great time. Don't forget to leave your scores down below in the comments and your score today is the total amount of reps you completed across all four rounds. So my total score was 143 reps and I used 35 pound dumbbells. If you enjoy this workout and want to see more just like it, hit that like button and subscribe. But in the meantime, be sure to check out our workout playlist for plenty of other videos for you to work out with as well as our follow along stretcher team playlist to make sure you guys are staying limber and loose and not letting those muscles get too tight after your workouts. If you want to support the channel, be sure to check out the discount links down below to my favorite fitness products, as well as to support our channel with purchasing some merch. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.